Hello guys and welcome back to Baby Peace. We're still on preschool. We have exhausted uh, 1.1, what is Forex, 1.2, 1.3, we just exhausted and now we're in 1.4, who trades Forex? So let's go, let's dive right into it. Who trades Forex? Now you remember unlike the stock market which is centralized, uh, Forex market is quite different. Everybody gets involved. So let's see how decentralized the stock market is. Look at it. Uh, we have bank banks, the EBS bank, Reuters machine bank, ECM broker, ECM broker, bank, 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 Jane. And everybody gets involved in the Forex market, right? So let's look at its corporate ladder. At the top, we have the major banks. And next, we have electronic brokering services. Uh, which is the EBS and Reuters dealing 3000 sports machine. It's like Coke and Pepsi, you know, two warring factions, right? Then we'll have medium sized and small banks, and then we'll have retail market makers, retail ECNs, ECN stands for Electronic Communication Networks Brokers, and then we'll have hedge funds and commercial companies. And these are the people, I mean, lastly, retail traders you and i because we don't we don't fall in all this right if you're watching this video boy boss your uncle you need that in one two three four five six but here seven that's where you fall right in and so everybody gets involved in the forex market so let's see forex market players who are the big boys the major people who make the moves in the forex market number one super banks which banks are we talking about? They are these guys you see over here. Citibank, JP Morgan. Oh my God, what's that noise? Oh my God. JP Morgan, UBS, Barclays Bank, Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs, HSBC, and Bank of America. So these are the major players. These are the major people who, uh, when, you, when you say the banks, these are, the, these are who they are. They are the ones who cause the havoc, the manipulations to the market. You know, you take a trade, they manipulate the spreads, right? They just they just put in lots of trillions into the market and prices run back up. They stop you out, claim all this this liquidity liquidity rather, right? And then you see prices drop slumping back down. These are the people who does that. They do it all the time. And there's nothing you and I can do about this, right? Then we have large commercial companies. And then we have governments and central banks. And then we have uh, the speculators, those buying the hopes of market prices to increase and then they can sell at higher prices and make profits. And that's basically where we fall into, right? So let's move ahead. Know your Forex history. How did Forex come about? Well, after World War II, you know, the uh, global economy was plummeting and then there was this Brenton Woods system that agreed for uh, the prices of uh, currency to be, you know, lifted or the value of currency money value to be lifted from gold and should be paid on the US dollar, right? You know, that was back then in the 19... Uh, 70s and then uh, uh, as time went on the internet came into play and then uh, in the 1990s banks started to create their own trading algorithm and trading systems and all that so it became more decentralized right and then retail forex brokers came into play you know it was long long time ago and they were the core of the forest market right so basically we have two kind of trade uh, brokers market makers and the electronic communications network and they are also brokers market makers they like they have a fixed price right they fix your own they make their own market they tell you if you want uh, this kind of this uh currency that right this money we're giving you at this rate right and then you have to buy from them and then when they when you want to you know exchange it back to your home currency so let's say you want uh euro you went to france you want euro and you have to give them your us dollar they have a fixed rate you have to pay for them to them right and then uh, when you want when you're from you know france or wherever you want to change your euro back to a us dollar they have a fixed rate as well they give to you 
so you're not going to make money right because they are the ones charging you however electronic communications network the this kind of these brokers they are quite different they take you right uh, i mean they take your trades uh, they buy uh, from you they sell to you at the current market price right because of that sophisticated trading platforms the executories of on like boom at the snap of finger trades are executed on the go so when you want to pick a trader i mean a broker rather right ensure to pick one who you know executes his trade using electronic communications network you must check right if it's an ecm trader and uh, that's not all you need to know right we're going to delve more into that so let's move ahead okay we're done with one point 